Welcome to Live, Behind the Veil, an atmosphere where men and women of God speak His Word to this age and bring His kingdom to this earth. Do you have ears to hear and eyes to see what God is doing in this hour? Let us join our host and the family's conversation as the Holy Spirit is unfolding the Word Behind the Veil. I tell you with certainty, Unless you change and become like little children, you will never get into the kingdom from heaven. I'm Ron, your host, and on this podcast, we will discuss how we must become as a little child in our openness and our love towards God and one another. I think one of the truest words that we can hear is just the simplicity of a child saying, I love you. Yep. Because there's nothing behind it. There's no motivations behind it. There's no, oh, I got to look better than this person. But it's the true, just open love and open heart from one person to another that you feel from a kid. And that's why Jesus loved the children, because there was no falseness. What he's looking for is that just that openness between us. And we've gotten so civilized that people don't know how to do that anymore just to be open with one another. There's something of an openness that some people have and some people don't have. And sometimes it's because of the hurts and, or non-hurts that they've gone through. or Absolutely. Or something to that effect. Jesus loved the little children because they didn't have the problems that adults have. <laughs> That's the t- you got that right. <laughs> because they were open. And, and the yes. openness is so important. Yeah. People listen from where they're at. Right. I think one of the things that speaks a thousand words is an experience. When my oldest daughter was four years old, she came riding around on her tricycle on the sidewalk, and she crashed into the grass. And she (laughs) got up, and she picked up her tricycle, and she set it down, and she said, Dad, am I a son of God? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Here is a four-year-old child contemplating sonship. You bet. Where did she get this stuff? Well, she was hanging around with a lot of people. She had to get a crook in her neck just to look up to see him. Mm-hmm. But she was listening. Four-year-old child was listening. And she was listening with a mature ear. Because she was thinking about sonship. My kids, we didn't have a television in our house for quite a while when we lived in Iowa. And I'd be outside working or doing something my wife would be doing. We'd come in. We'd hear the kids in the other room. And what they had done is we had a stairs that went to the second floor. Those kids took turns. They had got their baby dolls, wrapped them up had them in one arm. They had a, a one of their golden books in the other hand, had it opened up, and they were singing songs. The words were not in those golden books. Mm-hmm. And then they'd stop singing. The older daughter was down at the bottom of the steps, and the two other girls were up the steps, and she would start to prophesy. She would start to pray. And then they would take turns. The older daughter would go up up a step. The other daughter would come down. They looked like they were playing church. They weren't playing church. They were walking out what they had heard. And to hear them speak, we made the mistake of peeking around the corner one too many times, and they stopped. But we caught them doing it again. They saw what was going around, going on around them. They wanted to be and felt like they were a part. God, make us all like little children. When I was six years old, I lived in a household that was not Christian. And I had a neighbor down the street. She befriended me because she saw that I was really open, I guess. And I started going into her house and she had a picture on her wall. And finally, one day I asked her, who that picture was. And she said, do you know who Jesus is? (laughs) And we we sat there and she told me about about Jesus. 
And then uh, she goes, would you like Jesus in your heart? And me being a stupid little six-year-old who didn't <laughs> know any better, said, sure. <laughs> you, know, you bet. In you my bet. simplicity. And I remember one time I was in the backyard alone, and there was a ladder there, and I ran up to the top of the ladder, and I just said, I love you, God, you know, and I was yelling it at the top of my lungs. <laughs> That's incredible. I love that. Yeah. It's something that is so real to me, that is the simplicity and the openness yep. that you can find the Lord in, not anything else. Our hearts reach out for the children. We reach out for friends, family. Our hearts reach out for those we see anywhere and everywhere we go. Like we said on one of our previous podcasts, our hearts are set to see people find a relationship with our Father knowing how much he loves us, and everything is based on his love for us. I hate the fact that somebody keeps talking about, well, God's mad at you, and he's going to judge you and destroy you. And I hate that with a passion, because that's not who my father is. His name is love. Open the eyes to see who you really are, Father, and break every distraction or false image Break all that stuff away. Lord, touch their heart. As we talk about little children, how can a child speak a word with authority? And I think that there is no other age group that walks in a higher level of submission than the little child. Mm -hmm. And that submission is what creates authority. Yeah. Because of that principle, I'll tell you what, a little child can take Paul Bunyan and melt him down to size. Oh, yeah. You betcha. There's a purity of motivation. All they want to do is to please you. <laughs> mm -hmm. They've got something going on with God that somewhere we've misplaced. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say lost because we, we haven't lost it. Because God brings these little children to remind us, mm -hmm. how do we walk before him? We're all children of God. Yeah. The more mature you become, the more childlike you become. Yeah. To where basic principles of love, basic principles of judge not lest you be judged. To where we have one commandment, you shall love the Lord your God. Yeah. We know that one, and it ends in, and your neighbor is yourself. Yeah. How many times have we gone up talking to a little kid, and both of them are having a great time? I think what you're talking about, Dale, is it's buried. It's buried, and so it has to be dug up again. But, you know, I want to talk a little bit about David. How old do you suppose David was when he slew Goliath? He was in his early teens. How old was Josiah when he took over being king of Israel? How old was Mary when she became pregnant with Christ? How old... <laughs> you see what I'm getting at. How old was Jeremiah? I think God loves using the young people. In today's podcast, we are all reminded that it is the young people that remind us how to love with a purity with nothing complicating it. Father, restore to us a pure heart towards you and towards one another. Experiencing the impartation of God's Word through His family is life. Has this time in His presence blessed you? Then please subscribe to our podcast at livebehindtheveil.com. If you would like to contact the family with questions or topics that you would like discussed, you can email them to livingepistles at livebehindtheveil.com. Stay connected, tuned in, and grow with the family as the Lord unveils His Word to us live behind the veil.